Ladies and gents, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Albert Potato, and here we check out the latest and the greatest strategy games each and every day of the week. If you're a fan of automation games, then you will know about Captain of Industry. And if you haven't heard of it, then you should fix that right now. Stop the video, click the link in the description, check out this game. It is so unbelievably good. Anyway, the first huge update for Captain of Industry has just dropped, and I'm going to be showcasing all of the changes that you need to be aware of and taking you through them step by step by step. And if this is the sort of strategy game goodness that you need in your life, then do consider subscribing. I do a whole bunch of videos showcasing brand new strategy games each and every day, and the YouTube gremlins tell me that only 18% of you are subscribed. So if you're not, change that. Right, let's get into the action. So I'm going to cover the changes that I think will make the most difference first. I would describe this update as an update which takes this game from a 10 to an 11. I'm not even joking. This game is a 10 out of 10 in my books. Um, this update introduces so much stuff, including some great quality of life changes, some new buildings, and uh, pretty dramatic uh, graphical overhauls. Let's start with the new buildings. Let's immediately start with the spicy nuclear stuff. This update adds two brand new reactors to play with. The tier two reactor, or the MOX reactor, allows for the reprocessing of spent fuel and gives you a healthy 33% power boost compared to the first level of nuclear reactor. There's also a tier three reactor, the fast breeder reactor, which doubles the power of the MOX reactor by generating a brand new type of steam. That's right, super high pressure steam. It is even more high pressure than high pressure steam. And speaking of that steam, there is a corresponding brand new steam turbine that you can use alongside your brand new high tech fast breeder reactor. There you go. To help with the reprocessing of nuclear fuel, there's a brand new reprocessing facility as well, which you can also use as a stage between your FBR uh, and your MOX reactors as well. Snazzy, snazzy stuff indeed. Now, all of this new nuclear building stuff comes with a bunch of added products, which are going to help you uh, enable, uh, enable all of your reactors. These include enriched uranium, a couple of varieties of that, reprocessed uranium, depleted uranium, plutonium, MOX rods, core fuels, blanket fuel, fission products, spent mocks, retired waste, and a whole bunch more. To help with all things steam management, there is a brand new thermal storage building, which allows you to, that's right, uh, store heat, which is very, very cool indeed, and should make managing reactors just a little bit more easy. Now, reactors are obviously late game things, um, but their complexity and their capability has just been expanded hugely. So you've now got some meaty end game objectives to start getting through. And of course, you know, end game, end game capable, capable power generators that are going to help you generate enough power for your island. How very cool indeed. From the most complex of resources to the most humble. Trees. Trees have been reworked. Kinda. Uh, no longer do you have to worry about running out of wood on your island. You can just simply plant some more trees. How cool is that? A forestry tower has been added, which allows you to zone planting areas. Plus, there's a brand new resource, saplings. You can grow these on farms, and they can be planted by a brand new vehicle, the tree planter. It kinda just does what it says on the tin with that one. Anyway, uh, this tower and the new vehicle combo work exactly as you would expect. Assign them to the tower, supply the saplings, and generate an unlimited, a functionally unlimited amount of wood. To compensate for this, however, the global lumber mill has been removed, so you're no longer gonna be able to import wood by boat. Is that a big deal? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. I don't think it's a big deal, but you may feel differently. Turning to waste and material removal, there's a brand new building to help with dumping stuff in a controlled manner. Well, as controlled as you can expect dumping stuff to be. The stacker allows you to automatically dump resources onto the terrain without any intervention from any trucks of any sort. Very cool indeed. This means that if you've got a particularly deep or pesky area that you want filled in, attach a loose storage, throw the stuff that you want to fill the hole with and it'll take care of itself. It's just entirely automatic 
it's super cool that this is a thing uh, and it just allows you to just manage it all automatically. How great is that? Um, there's also a brand new waste incineration plant too, which allows you to burn waste much more efficiently whilst also providing free steam. Uh, it also outputs exhaust for potential filtration as well, so handy, handy stuff. Alternatively, if you'd like to ignore your problems forever, you know, you can you can crash them up. Uh, you can crash them up and, um, and, and not think about them ever again. And to do that, you can use the brand new compactor. It allows you to compact trash in a one to three ratio, so you will potentially, functionally, maybe reduce the size of the trash, but you won't actually get rid of it. Sorry. Um, if you've decided not to ignore your problems, or perhaps you want to undo your compacting, uh, there's always the new shredder building, which allows you to reverse the compacting process, and you can also shred wood with it, which is quite a quite a nice handy little uh, handy little bonus for that one. Turning back to new buildings, there is a new building to help with early game computer parts, the mainframe. It's kind of like a little interim stage uh, to the data center and should allow you to make microchips faster and earlier in the game. There's also an early game captain's office as well, which allows for earlier utilization of blueprints. You'll still, however, want to upgrade this captain's office to the old slash original captain's office, as that's the only way that you're going to be able to get advanced edicts. But this level one office will get you started much earlier. There's also a brand new diesel generator uh, in the game as well, the diesel generator level two. Now, I know what you're thinking, why bother with a second level of diesel generator when you get rid of the level one diesel generators so early on anyway? Well, my friend, one word, and that is redundancy. This should help with that. Uh, the level two generator is also much more efficient. Uh, it is six times more powerful and you can direct and collect the exhaust um, and you can recycle it however you'd like. So perhaps there is some sort of a setup that you maybe want to see if you can try and uh, sort of incorporate the, the diesel generator level in, uh, level two into. I don't know. It's up to you. Um, speaking of tier two buildings, um, there is a couple of uh, there's a couple of other buildings which have received a tier two variant. Uh, this includes the electrolyzer, the mixer and the crusher all got tier two versions. The original models have also been refreshed more on the graphics and models in just a second. Um, but yeah, they all just do exactly what the tier one things do, except they just do them better bigger, quicker, faster. Um, it's it's kind of just it's kind of just that simple. Uh, that's it for the the new buildings um, for now. But we're just getting started as some of my favorite changes uh, are yet to come. And I cannot wait to share them with you. So let's talk about one of the big ones. Let's talk graphics and presentation. This game just got a whole lot better to look at. Almost everything in the game has been retextured or re-implemented in some way or another, and it looks better than before. I am not kidding. I mean, waves, the landscape, materials in the landscape, uh, weather, trees, uh, which now leave stumps uh, that decay over time as well. <laughs> How cool. Uh, and vehicle models have also been refreshed too. Basically, every single facet of the game looks better. The sky, I would highlight as something that looks particularly good. Um, there's fog now in the distance as well. I mean, it just feels like a really sort of lived in world. It looks great. It feels great. And it just looks, it looks fresh and clean and, and lovely. So yeah, that's that's it for the sort of uh, for the sort of visual stuff. However, there is another visual change which I would like to highlight because I think it is probably my favorite change, maybe in this update. Definitely my favorite visual change. Um, my favorite visual change is simple. Now storage units show what's inside on the top. Unbelievably simple unbelievably effective and yet at the same time it is going to save me loads and loads of time uh, searching around looking for a specific product. I, I build crazy you know complex large factories and I can very rarely remember where I've got <laughs> where I've got certain resources so having having the ability to glance down and see oh yeah I'm just building my construction materials over there or whatever it is uh, is going to be super 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 handy yeah yeah so yeah visually the game looks stunning there's a whole bunch of building models that have been uh, have been refreshed as well uh, all of the sort of tier twos and the tier ones of the electrolyzer the mixers the crusher they all got they all got refreshed too whole bunch of other uh, bits and bobs have been refreshed visually the game just looks so much better and it just looks so unbelievably good. 
I can't believe that it's taken me this long to tell you that there is a brand new mineable resource in the game now. Quartz. Whereas you had to collect it by boat in previous versions, you can now mine it on every map and every map has the resource accommodated on it. Very cool indeed. You can use this new quartz to make sand, if you so choose to do so, uh, quite simply by crushing it. This sand will be very useful when you're making concrete, amongst other things. And of course, the recipe for silicon has also been changed to, you know, reflect the fact that quartz is now a mineable resource. In terms of loose storage, um, there are two mega cool changes that I am going to tell you about. Now, this may sound small, but if you've played Captain of Industry for any length of time whatsoever, you will understand the implications of what I am about to share with you, dear viewer. Firstly, excavators can mine mixed products. They always scoop a full bucket. Pause and think about that. Excavators can mine mixed products from the map, always scooping a full bucket. Plus, that mixed bucket can be loaded onto trucks. What that means is that if an excavator is mining out a mountain and takes a bit of dirt, a bit of rock, and a bit of iron uh, in one singular scoop, no longer do you have to do that in three individual, three individual scoops of the excavator. No, you do it in one single bucket and it's loaded onto one single truck, which is fantastic. You don't need to, to wait around for a truck to take away a single unit of dirt. It is done automatically. Trucks will unload into the appropriate storage if they've got iron ore in the back of them they'll unload in the iron ore storage if that's how you've configured it or they will dump you know dirt in a specific area whatever it just happens automatically how unbelievably cool is that how unbelievably game-changing is that it is monumental it is huge this is probably my favorite change of literally this entire patch and finally, let's move on to major mechanical changes. Uh, firstly, the big one. Uh, pipes can now be built vertically, straight up, which means that you can build even more complex and crazy factories, which is very cool. Landfill decays now, so you can't just bury your trash. You can't use it to expand your world and expect no repercussions. Uh, landfills decay. They give you pollution. Uh, it decays, I think it's after about four years or so. Um, so you just, you just need to be, you just need to be mindful of that. Um, there is also another small little quality of life thing, but perhaps another one of my favorite little, uh, live, favorite little amendments. Um, there's a much more user-friendly way of upgrading trucks now. You can literally tell the individual truck truck to upgrade itself. It's super simple. It's a super nice little quality of life thing. The truck will literally drive back to the vehicle depot and it will upgrade itself. It'll build itself a new truck. It'll come back. Happy days. It works. It just works. So that's it. There's a whole bunch of other balancing changes. I mean, for example, belts and uh, pipes just got 30% cheaper, which is pretty crazy. There's a whole bunch of other little balancing changes uh, that I will I will leave linked down below. The patch notes um, are linked down there, down in the description below. Um, you can see the, uh, the blog post and the trailer for the brand new update. If you haven't had the opportunity to check out Captain of Industry since the brand new update dropped, do check it out. It is worth noting that save files are not compatible. So if you have, uh, if you have save files from a previous version of the game, you'll either want to finish your save or you know start a brand new start a brand new playthrough uh with this update i think this update is a fantastic fantastic sign of things to come this is the first major update that the game has dropped and so far i think the developers are going absolutely in the right direction you know these are major major additions uh, specifically to the late game the nuclear um the nuclear production chain is very very cool i'm really really excited to see that and then you know there's just a whole bunch of really 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 good decisions about how the game should be played and how the game now can be played uh which just makes it tremendously tremendously enjoyable to play um and i think is gonna is gonna remove some of the frustration um and a little micromanaging little bits from the game which is really really nice but i would be super interested to to hear exactly what you dear viewer uh think about these changes is this patch is this patch good is it bad i mean what is the what is the major the major sort of uh 
uh, changes that you are looking out for that you are going to be playing with in your playthrough. Please do let me know in the comments below. I'm very, very interested to, to hear your opinion and I'll be hanging out down in the comments and, uh, and, and seeing what you say over the next couple of days. So there we go. Thank you ever so much for watching, folks. This has been a tremendously uh, short video to try and turn around because I wanted to make sure that I had all of the different bits and bobs sort of pulled together. I'm sure I've missed something, but if I have, I'm sure you'll remind me down in the comments. Uh, check out the Patreon if indeed you're interested in helping make videos like this possible, uh, and I will see you next time.